sometimes you have a great shot, but there's something in the background you'd like removed, uh, or foreground for that matter. And this is one of my students' pictures, and uh, my student was wondering if it was possible to remove the people in the back here, and it turns out it's quite easy to do. Uh, all we need to do, I'll just reposition a bit here. I can zoom out a little more even. Uh, we're going to use not the smudge tool, which is selected, but the clone tool. And with the clone tool, what you do is you click somewhere. So I'm going to click right here in the middle of this character's head. And I'm holding the control button down and I clicked. Now, as I drag the mouse anywhere on the screen, it's going to redraw from that point. And you can see on the left, the reference point, And on the right is the mouse where I'm clicking. And as I click and drag, it keeps drawing that person. We can actually change the size of this. The size is pretty small. Let's make it a lot bigger. And so now you can see his whole head is uh, surrounded or is, uh, uh, is covered. And as I draw, the reference again is on the left and I've got the mouse on the right. Okay, it's kind of cool. That's not what I want to do though. I want to get rid of the characters uh, in the back. So let's do this. Let's click over here instead. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to click right here on this line just so I've got an easy reference to work with. So control. And now what I'll do is position the mouse here and just start to draw back and forth. And look at that. And all it's doing is replicating wh wherever that uh, circle on the right is, is being replicated where I'm dragging on the left now with the mouse. And I'll just go as close as I can. I'm not going to get it perfect. Okay, there we go. And I can do the same thing over here on the right. So again, that reference area on the left is being replicated wherever I trace the mouse on the right-hand side. And in just a matter of a minute, we can actually do a pretty good job uh, to get rid of this, both these guys. Just his shoes are left. I'm going to have to do, it's kind of fun to leave his shoes there. Uh, but what I would do is probably click on Control one more time. And then what I would do is drag like this, and I'd be able to get rid of the shoes. Now you notice that there's still that line uh, that's fairly obvious. And to get rid of that, what I'll do is just use the smudge tool. And the smudge tool, all you do is select it. Again, you can change the size. And I'm just going to move gently back and forth a couple times just so that line uh, kind of uh, dissolves a little bit. Now you wouldn't want to move up and down because that's what will happen. Okay, we don't want to smudge it vertically. We just want to smudge it horizontally. And if you smudge that line a little bit horizontally, well, actually it doesn't look very good. Anyway, you can play around with that. Uh, that's all you need to do to remove something that's inside of uh, an image. And that's it for now. Over and out.